Okay, this is page 17 and number 61, rhythm time. Look at the second measure of this. We have a half note tied to a quarter note. The half note gets two counts, the quarter note gets one. So we add those together by the tie and that gives us three counts. Then in the fourth measure and last measures, we have dotted half notes, which is the same thing. A dotted half note gets three counts. So let's clap and count number 61. Here we go. One, ready, now. One, two, three, one, hold, two, hold, three. One, two, three, one, hold, two, hold, three. One, two, three, one, two, and three. One, two, three, one, hold, two, hold, three. And off. So keep backing this up and going over it clapping count several times until we understand that dotted half note and that the half note tied to the quarter are the same thing. Okay, now that we've clapped and counted through number 61, we're ready to play it. It tells us to use the note E flat for every note in 61. So here we go, ready? One, ready, now. One, two. that up and going over it until you have the rhythm worked out. Okay, this is line 62, encounter in three. Let's make sure we look at our key signature, B flats, E flats, and A flats all the way through, and that our time signature tells us that we're in three four time with three beats in every measure. So let's, we're going to go over the first four measures. Mr. Frank has will play it while you finger and count and then back the video up and play along. Here we go. One, ready, now. One, hold, two, hold, three. One, two, three. One, hold, two, hold, three. All right, keep backing that up and going over it, fingering and counting, and playing along. Now let's look at the last four measures. We'll do this the same way. We'll finger and count while he plays, back the video up, and then play along. Here we go. One, ready, now. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, hold, two, hold, three. Off. All right, keep backing it up and going over it, working on the individual four measure sections till you have them completely worked out. Then we're ready to go all the way through 62. So let's play all the way through. Here we go. Horns are up. One, Ready now. Three, one, hold, two, hold, three. One, two, three. One, hold, two, hold, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, hold, two, hold, three. Off. Okay, keep backing it up and going through it until you can play all the way through it without making mistakes. Okay, this is line 63, Skill Builder, A Simple Waltz. This has a pickup note or an anacrusis on beat three, and we're gonna stop at the breath mark for, for now. So we're gonna do the first three full measures and part of the fourth measure. Look at your key signature, make sure you're using B flats, E flats, and A flats. Since this is in three four time, that anacrusis comes on count three. So I'll give you two, we'll start on three. So let's finger and count with Mr. Frank has and then play along. First four measures, here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, off. Now keep backing that up and going over it finger and say the note names, finger and say the counts, and play along with that four measures. When you have that worked out, then let's move on to the last four measures. And we're going to start on beat three right after the breath mark because that's the anacrusis for the last four measures. So I'll give you two. Come in on three. One, two, three, 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 one,
individual four measure sections, once you have them worked out completely, then you're ready to go all the way through 63. So let's take it all the way through from the beginning. Remember we have a pickup note or anacrusis here on beat three, so I'll give you two. Here we go. One, two. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Notice at the beginning of this it said P, which is piano, which means to play soft. On these recordings, you're not going to be able to tell any difference just because of the way the computer handles sound. So when you're playing, play softer when it says piano. Okay, this is line 64, sight reading challenge theme from Cambridge Overture. First thing we look at here is the key signature. And the key signature tells us that every B is flat, every E is flat, and every A is flat. The C tells us that we're in common time, which is the same as 4-4. Four, four. So we're going to do the first four measures, the first two measures plus the first ending. I would advise you to finger and count with the recording, finger and say the note names, and play along with each four measure section. Here we go, first four measures. Ready? One, two, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, rest. Two and three, four, one and two, three, hold four. Now, we're ready to go through the second section. So we'll take the first two measures, skip the first ending, and take the second ending. Here we go. Ready? One, two, second time. Now. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. Rest. Two and three, four, and one, two, and three, hold four. Okay, keep backing these four measure sections up and going over them until you have each one worked out. Now we're ready to go all the way through. As we go through this, we play the first measure, second measure, first ending, repeat back to the first measure, second measure, skip the first ending, and play the second ending the second time. Here we go. One, two, ready, now. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, rest. Two and three, four, one and two, have no repeat. One, two, three, four and one, two, three and four, second ending. Two and three, four and one, two and half, no. Oh. So keep backing this up and going over it as many times as you need to to get it worked out where you're not making mistakes. Also notice that that was marked F, which is forte, which means to play louder. So when you're practicing, try to make this louder than you did on number 63. This is line 65. I've just come from Sydney. This is normally a test line, so you want to spend a little extra time on this, making sure that you have it worked out completely so that you're ready to take a grade. The first thing we have to look at here is our key signature. Our key signature tells us that we have every B flat and every E flat, but our A's, if we have one, is second valve A natural. And I don't see one in this, so we don't have to worry about that. It starts out with the first four measures being soft and the second four measures being louder. On the recording, you're not going to really be able to tell much difference. So let's go over the first four measures and we'll stop at the breath mark. Finger and count the first time, then back the video up and play along. Here we go. I'll give you two. And one, two. Okay, keep 
backing that up and going over it until you have it worked out completely. Now let's look at the last four measures and we're going to start just after that breath mark on those two F eighth notes because those are the anacrusis for the last four measures. This is marked forte so you want to play this a little louder. So finger and count the first time, back the video up and play along. I'll give you two. One, two. Okay, back that up and go over it a few times until you have those four measures worked out. And now you're ready to go through the full piece. So we'll go all the way through 65. Make sure we play in the key signature. First four measures are piano. Second four measures are forte, which means we'll play those a little louder. Here we go. Give you two. Come in on three. One, two. backing that up and going over it until you have it worked out to where you're not making mistakes and you're ready for that to be a grade. 